Well, hello there. Welcome back. Ron Podcast number three. The Hangover Part Three. Uh, I'm sure many of you have enjoyed my little animated trailer. (laughs) Now, I did that for fun and to make people laugh, not to piss anybody off. And at least I put out a trailer for the damn movie. I mean, it's coming out February, March, April, May. Three months. And we still haven't gotten a teaser trailer. Three months. They released a couple of photos, you know, last couple days. But they're just character shots, and it's like, we already know who's in the movie. (laughs) I mean, come on. And I'm not saying it's easy to cut a trailer. I've never made a trailer for a motion picture. So I know. Just calm down, okay? Just take it easy. But seriously, I mean, a teaser trailer. Show us a clip from the movie. You know? I mean, I know they're probably still in post-production, uh, nothing against Todd Phillips, great director. But after The Hangover Part 2, which was kind of like the, you know, Taken 2 of the franchise, even though that came out after, uh, you want to build up hype, you know. You don't want to wait this long to, you know, finally get people into the movie. I mean, then again, the business these days, it's all about, you know, your opening weekend and that. and There's just so much stuff out there to compete with, so... Maybe they are making a smart move. I could be wrong. Uh, last I heard, the trailer, the teaser trailer, maybe a full-length trailer, will be arriving on March 1st in front of Jack and the Giant Slayer. Which is kind of a weird choice to show that trailer in front of. That's, uh, I think I, I believe that Slayer is like a PG-13 movie. Um, I'm not sure what the target demographic is. It looks, It looks like it's kind of for kids. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's weird. It's like playing, you know, a Die Hard trailer in front of Winnie the Pooh or something. That was pretty random, huh? But uh, I'm looking forward to this movie. Uh, I thought the second one was good. I mean, yeah, it followed the same formula as the first one, but that's what people liked about it. Uh, what were people expecting, honestly? I mean, if they go in a completely different direction, there's risk involved. But sometimes I think that, you know, maybe The Hangover, maybe, you know, it's one of those movies where like, did it really need a sequel? Does it really need a third? Nothing against any of the actors or anything. But when a movie is successful, it does well, financially and review-wise. That doesn't mean you have to go and make a sequel. Taken didn't need a sequel. Taken 2 was entertaining, but it's like, you know, just leave it alone. They're already talking about doing a third one. I'll I'll get into that later, though. I don't mean to digest. <laughs> Digress. <laughs> but uh, this time, there's no wedding, there's no bachelor party. When the wolf pack hits the road, all bets are off. I heard that it's going to take place in Las Vegas, Los Angeles... Somebody gets broken out of a... Or some gets broken out of... Breaks out of a mental institution. A uh, character dies. I know that Heather Graham's coming back. Uh, along with Black Doug. Mike Epps. And uh, John Goodman's in it. Ken Jong, of course, is uh, Mr. Chow. And uh, yeah, a really good cast. I'm really curious what this one's going to be about. Because if there's no wedding, there's no bachelor party. I mean, is there even going to be a a hangover? You know? Something like that where they wake up the next day and they don't know what's going on. Because I'm worried that this movie is going to go too far out. You know, maybe Todd Phillips is like, Well, you know, people didn't really like the second one. They said it was like the first. So, uh, I just decided to, you know go with an original idea for this one it's like everything we love about the first hangover we don't need to see it over and over again but you want to see some familiar elements you know I don't know how Heather Graham I think her character's name is Jade I don't know how that's going to fit into this you know we already know that Stu is married happily married 
I don't know. Is he going to get another tattoo in this movie? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see all the, the wolf pack on screen again. Todd Phillips seems like a really cool guy to work with. And uh, I hope that the trailer for part three is really good and gets a lot of good buzz. Because uh, it sounds like this is going to be the last Hangover movie. I don't know what the big deal is about trilogies these days. It's like, why can't you make four movies? But, uh, yeah, so March 1st, mark your calendars. Uh, again, that's just a rumor that I heard. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited for the movie? Are you too, are you also curious why we don't have a trailer yet? What's going on with that? Hangover Part 3 arrives in U.S. theaters on May 24th, 2013. And I'm looking forward to it. Curious to see what they have in store for us. Anyways, that's going to do it for this Ron podcast. Please subscribe for new videos. And stay tuned for endless entertainment. Thank you for watching. And have yourself a good day.